Hey there, everybody. My name's Nathan Elson. And when it comes to batch processing images, there's probably no software on the planet right now that's better than Evoto. Now, I'm gonna take you into Evoto. I'm gonna show you some of their new features that make their software even better. I'm gonna show you how I use it to retouch my images, then batch process all of those retouches in one super simple and quick retouching step. So let's jump into Evoto and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so here we are in Evoto, and yes, I am wearing glasses. It just makes retouching so much easier. But I have these 10 images from a recent shoot with Asha, and I've got everything from her facing the camera to being more profile to the camera to being a little bit lower and shooting up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit one of these images, and then I'm going to apply that same edit across all of these different images, even though they have different poses and crops. But you can still do it all in one fell swoop. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab this image here and I'm just going to come up into my color adjustments and I'm just gonna add a little bit of an S curve. So bring that down, bring that up. And then I'm just going to come into my shadows. I'm going to bring that up just a little bit there. And that just gives you a before and an after. I'm just adding a little bit more punch back into the image. Now from there, we come into our portrait retouching. Now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on her face here, and I'm just gonna come up to my freckle and acne. I'm going to crank that up, and that's gonna get rid of any acne or anything like that that's on the face. Now, I typically take this freckle slider and I slide that back down to zero because I do like freckles in my images. Again, just a personal preference, but before, after. Now, we'll come down into the body, and I'm just gonna bring this body blemish up to around 50% just to kind of help smooth everything out there before, after, that looks great. So now that we've got that done, there's a few other things that we can do here. Now, I'm going to take these dark circles that are happening sort of by your eyes here. I'm just going to slide this up and that is going to get rid of those. Now I can also come into the eye bags. I can bring that up a little bit and that will also help to alleviate some of that shadowing that's happening there. Again, sliders super quick. Now the smile lines, if I bring my smile line option up here, I bring that up, that will disappear, come out nice and smooth. And then if we slide up the neck wrinkle a little bit, you end up just smoothing out the natural creases that happen in the neck. Now from there, that looks great. That's all pretty much just done. So there's a couple of other things that we can do here. And one of them is a new one called Remove Armpit Fat, which I think is the funniest title ever. But if I slide this up, and if you just look into our armpits here, it just smooths everything out, gets rid of any creases or anything like that. Again, it just cleans up the images, softens things up a little bit, but it looks great. And it does an actual really good job. So now that we've got that, there's a couple of other things that we're going to do here. Now we'll come down into the eyes, and if I zoom in on her face a little bit here, if I come down to my eye brightness and I bump that up a little bit, it's just going to give me a little bit more punch in the eyes, just bring a little bit more life into them. Now, a couple of other things here with the skin retouching, you can do this smooth face skin dodge and burn. And again, if you slide this up a little bit, it's just going to smooth out those transitions from your highlights to your shadows just a little bit more. Now, one of the last things that we're going to do here is on the hair. Now they've got another function here for all of this flyaway hair that's happening. And if you come down here, you can do remove stray hairs. Now, if I slide this up, they all just disappear and it does it in a extremely clean way. Even the hair that's on her forehead, things that are dripping down here, it just disappears. It does such an amazing job. Now we've got all of that. We've got all of our skin touching redone. We've got all of our hair retouching redone and we've done it in a matter of minutes. So the last thing that I wanna do is I wanna retouch these pants because there's a lot of wrinkles going on. So the way that I do that is I'm going to come up into my clothes and accessories touch up and I'm just going to slide this de-wrinkle clothing up to 100% and they just disappear. Now, I do want to keep some of the waves that were happening in the pants. So if I come up to the remove coarse wrinkles and I dial that down to maybe 20%, some of those kind of natural folds will come back in, but the wrinkles are gone. So again, before, 
and after. And that took, again, a matter of minutes. And even the pants alone, if I was retouching those by hand, would take forever. There's a lot of wrinkles in those pants, but I can literally just bump up a slider and make it done. Now, this all looks fantastic, but we can also apply this edit to every other image in this set. So I've got nine other images here and I'm just going to select them. And then I'm just gonna come over to my sync and I'm just going to click sync. Now, when I hit the save button, it's gonna go through and it's going to automatically process all of these images with the exact same retouches that I just did on the initial image. And when we come over to them, we can see here before, after. It looks perfect. Even from a side angle now, the before and the after. Everything is super clean. The pants, all the wrinkles are gone. The armpit is, you know, smoothed out. The, the face looks amazing. The stray hairs are gone. Everything just looks so clean. Even when we come over to a completely different angle, when I do a before and an after, all the stray hair that was happening up coming off of her forehead and everything like that is gone. The pants, have been smoothed out, the skin looks fantastic, the armpits are nice and clean, everything just looks amazing, and it happened, like I said, a hundred times now, in minutes. I mean, when it comes to batch processing images and doing it cleanly, efficiently, and quickly, Evoto is really hard to beat. But there's one more function that I wanna show you that didn't apply to these images. Let's just jump into that real quick right now. All right, now the last function that I wanna show you real quick is a new function they came out with for getting rid of glasses glare. Now, this isn't my image, this is just one that I pulled off the internet, but if any of you have ever had to deal with glare on glasses, it can be a bit of a nightmare. But if you come down to their eye section, click on the glasses glare and just slide that over, it just disappears. It's insane. All of the detail, everything is still there. It looks perfect. So before and then after with a slider in a matter of seconds, seconds to get rid of glasses glare. And again, this is something that you can batch process and put across any images that have this problem. So like I said, when it comes to batch processing and very quickly retouching images, Evoto is just, it's gotten incredibly hard to beat. So that's how I use Evoto to very quickly and efficiently batch process a whole series of images. Now, if you've never used Evoto and you're interested in checking it out, make sure you use the link down in the description. You'll get an extra 30 credits just for clicking on that link. But with that, if you guys have any questions, use the comments box down below. That's what it's there for. And as always, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.